Hey there, everybody. So we had a hard frost, not a hard frost, we had a frost freeze warning the other night, and it got down to, it was at least, I think, uh, 30 or 31 degrees um, by our weather, and that was just, you know, just a few miles from here. So it got cold. So anyway, as you can see, looking at the garden, there's a lot of stuff. We couldn't just cover everything. Um, I tried to cover a lot. Uh, but what I tried to do was I tried to do some research, and so I had some fires. So in that trash can there, that actually um, had a bunch of water in it. I had fires set in some metal cans. I put water on top, just kind of trying to heat the general area. I had charcoal. Some of the charcoal was still glowing in the morning. I don't think that did diddly. Uh, we put buckets of water all around the garden, so there's still water in this right here. So these uh, are peppers. This is my hot pepper patch. We don't use much hot peppers. We only have eight of them. Um, it didn't do a whole heck of a lot. Uh, these were not covered once again. It was just buckets of water that were, you know, 50-ish degrees. Um, you know, this pepper plant made it pretty well. That one, eh, you can see it definitely got some damage. So, you know, these plants, the fleshy parts, it's mainly water. Um, just like we are mainly water. And so when um, uh, that water freezes, you know, water expands uh, and expands to the point of bursting cells. And so uh, we have some tissue damage on some of these pepper plants uh, and not on others. So kind of interesting. Um, I actually did have, um, if you uh, follow my finger, um, I had some tarps out over all our greens. Greens tend to be pretty hardy, and it's got to be pretty cold to kill those. So by uh, uh, greens, things people tend to eat. So even radishes, the tops are pretty tough. Lettuce is tough. Uh, right here, uh, there is uh, the cabbage, broccoli, cauliflower family. Um, those are all called brassicas. And so the brassicas are really, really tough. Um, so what we have here, I think, is my um, uh, kohlrabi, I think. Yeah. So this is like a bulbing brassica, and if you've never had it, it's funky stuff. It is delicious uh, when it's grown right and picked right. It is just like this, like a turnip or radishy consistency, but sweet and delicious stuff. It's just amazing, so I recommend you try that. So anyway, we're gonna go over to our tomato plants, which that's where the real investment is. This plant was not covered, and um, and it got hurt. <laughs> it got bit a lot. Uh, the nice thing is the stem, I think, is okay. But even the branches, I think those uh, froze a bit. The top parts, those actually look like they might come out of it. Um, but anyway, there's one of the plants that I just had buckets of water in the vicinity, and it just uh, it wasn't enough. Uh, now we're going to go over to one that I actually did have covered up. So just by the water being next to it wasn't quite enough, at least this distance. Okay. Now let's go to another one. So this one, kind of interesting, I thought, let's take one of these buckets of water and put it right next to the plant. So there, over there, you know, we're talking a foot or so away. This one was right next to it. Now, it definitely looks like there's some damage here, um, but man, nowhere near the damage is that, uh, that other tomato plant. So this bucket of water, that thermal mass kept this little area, this microclimate warm enough um, that it, uh, it didn't freeze. Now let's go in and look at some that I did cover and what kind of damage they had. So here is one. So a couple plants over from that one there. Uh, we can see the tops um, are uh, damaged, but down below, not too much. So what happened here, I had a pot like this, and where the plant touched the plastic, the plastic got cold, really cold. Cold enough that wherever the plastic touched, uh, it caused damage. So right there is where the tomato plant is supposed to be growing from. It's not anymore. This is dead. Um, I think that's an example of apical dominance. I think that's the name of the term. Uh, this, what's called a sucker, this is uh, damaged, I think, to the point where it's not going to come back. So when you look at the fork where a branch comes off the main stem, you'll see these little, uh, these little suckers, they're called. The first good, healthy sucker, which looks like is right here, that will probably become the new main stem that we uh, allow to grow up. And this is where growing tomato plants, if you want it to be bushy, allow those suckers to produce a new uh, main stem. If you don't want it to be one straight deal, then pick off those suckers and uh, just let it flower and fruit along the main stem. 
Uh, well, that's mainly it. Uh, the peppers that were covered, those did pretty well because those didn't touch the containers. Um, uh, we had peas. Uh, the peas did pretty well. Um, I put up a tarp over there. Um, I was trying to just keep the heat in this area. Uh, but the smoke, it was very interesting. Smoke rises, heat rises. Um, but I did some reading about what they do in vineyards and such. I mean, they even buy uh, rent helicopters to sort of mix up the air, and it just wasn't enough. It was too still, and uh, I'm not sure what that did down there. I, I think it might have done some protection, although there's a tomato plant, my nicest one, called Indigo Apple. Look it up, it's the most beautiful tomato I think I've ever grown, and it really got nailed uh, hard. In this row here, we have peas. I didn't do anything with peas because peas are really, really cold hardy and no damage at all. Uh, my cucumbers, some of those did get damaged. I did cover up some of those, but some of them still got some damage as well. So that was a, an unusually late frost for us. Even though in Indiana, I think our last frost date is May 11th. Usually we don't get that, and a lot of us... Well, I got it handed to me, that's for sure. <laughs> Uh, I learned a lesson, so I think next year I'll be putting my plants in gallon-sized pots and maybe waiting till after the first week of May has gone before I start putting them out because some of these plants are now weeks behind where they were before. Um, well, I guess we'll show another video. Um, we pretty much done with the chicken tractor. We made a little thing called a duck tractor. Uh, we'll show that next time. And been busy. Uh, two boys were around, and two boys are now gone, so we have more time on our hands. Talk to you guys later. Take it easy. Bye-bye.